uh, in india it is uh, generally understood that uh, decentralization is pretty much of a failure because even though the laws are in place and the political rhetoric is in place the uh, fiscal uh, powers given to the panchayats the extent of money transfers given to local governments is of a very low order uh, the accountability initiative got an opportunity to work with the uh, 14th finance commission and that uh, gave us a chance to look at what the contemporary position is where is the money going to the panchayats uh, data was obtained from the finance by the finance commission from uh, states relating to transfers to rural local bodies and we had an opportunity to take a look at it and there is an interesting story that is now emerging the first part of the story is that the central government seems to be increasingly funding at the village level so village panchayats seem to be getting a fairly significant share of central transfers and because of this reason probably the intermediate and the district panchayats seem to be subsisting more on state uh, transfers uh, similarly uh, we also find that the state is uh, withdrawing a great deal from funding of the uh, gram panchayats that probably lies at the base of the central finance commission's decisions to take uh, to to say that all the transfers that it makes goes directly to the uh, gram panchayats in karnataka state what we are doing is we are taking some of the tools that have been developed uh, in the paisa project which looks at sarva shiksha abhiyan as all of you know and using that to track the funding going to the panchayats and we are getting some very really interesting uh, results here again we find that the central government is giving a lot of money uh, to the gram panchayats but we are also discovering that though the state claims that huge amounts of money is are being given to the panchayats uh, as high as 71% of the money that goes to the taluk panchayats comprise only of salary transfers and at a zilla parishad level it is about 55% so we really need to ask the question are these agencies at the district and intermediate levels supposed to function as local governments or are they just giant salary paying machines and this is just one of the insights that we have gained at the moment there is a lot of interesting stuff that's going to come out in our studies in a couple of months we should be able to have a real insight into how a state which itself which by the way claims to be a champion of uh, local government uh, how it actually obfuscates the whole process of strengthening of local government by uh, playing around with the money uh, that is going to them